on item number 11-6040, Alderman Helding. Thank you. I uh, move to approve the recommendation, if I could briefly speak to the item. Second. Um, Motion to second, Alderman Helding. Thank you. This is a, what it says. It's a request to terminate the Business Improvement District. The Business Improvement District is uh, um, basically the property owners in the area at one point had petitioned to form the district, uh, agreed to tax themselves a, a modest amount every year. The city collects the tax, turns it over to the Business Improvement District Board, who then doles it out for certain things that are prescribed in the, in the state laws. They can't spend it to buy themselves cars. They have to spend it on marketing, beautification, wayfinding, things like that. Um, the bid could be terminated if over 50% of the property owners determine that they no longer wish to participate in it at this point. Um, and it, uh, a petition has been received, a public hearing was held, and we have 56.7% of the total evaluation in favor of termination, which means at this point, um, it's a done deal. We have to vote yes on this. There really is no other vote that the statute allows for. I don't know why we have to vote on it if that's how the statute works, but I guess we just have to put our seal on it and, and make it so, as it were. So that's where we're at at this point. Other comments? Alderman Widener. I just have a question, kind of a clarification in my mind. Is it 56, 50 percent of the property owners or 50 percent of the assessed properties? Can there be yeah. one owner that owns more than 50 percent of the property and that person could Right. If the, um, the way a bid works, you know, our, our, in our democracy, we say, you know, one man, one vote or one person, one vote. In reality, it's more like one dollar, one vote. And that's how a bid works. It, it, you split it out based on assessed property value and you get your vote based on your percentage of ownership. So um, in this case, two particular property owners have about 15 percent of the bid. But that's still, I mean, 56 percent is the number that came in. And um, there's a little bit of... Uh, some of them, some of the properties are just, they're commercial properties within the bid, and they may not have a retail walk-up style business that necessarily generate um, benefits from hanging baskets and signs and, and art walks and things that might be done through the Business Improvement District or a business association. Um, they may not see the value to it. Other businesses might. Um, in the end, it, it's up to the, to the property owners in the, in the, uh, the district. I would think that if the there were more thriving businesses there, this vote might be going the other way, but at this point, um, the people who feel that they're paying out on an empty building, for instance, and getting nothing in return are winning the day at this point. But I have a hope for the, uh, the existing businessmen's, so pardon me, business persons association in Western Keene uh, and their future success. And um, my hope is that eventually this, this sort of thing turns around and they come back with more, with another uh, district and they start moving forward more positively. Alderman Spangenberg. Well, I guess uh, I'm the one that probably is the most upset about this uh, and embarrassed for the area. Seeing that this is the first bid ever in the state of Wisconsin to, to collect a petition and close down. First one ever. It's an embarrassment. A couple hundred dollars. I mean, come on. You know, I can remember when I first started out in Western Scene, we didn't have any money. We don't have a big uh, contributor uh, like the downtown area has or even uptown now. Uh, we always had to kind of fight for our money and go door to door and try to get the money to put up Christmas decorations and beg for Christmas, Christmas decorations. We bought our Christmas decorations about two sets before the ones we have up here before we got the bid. and. Some other uh, money to do some improvements in the area. We used to go door to door and get the money and beg every time. So when we bought those decorations, we didn't have the money, so it took us five years to pay for them. Luckily, the company had a deal where it had low interest in five years. It took five years to pay for it, uh, get, the, get the decorations up. The people that are against the bid says, now, oh, but we've got the people with $800 that, that are going to do something uh, towards the bid. Yeah, well, that's great. Uh, it costs $690 to put the decorations up. You know, so I don't get it. I think it's a, if, 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 if you really want to know what I feel is that I think it's a retaliation for, um, for the development that went awry on that corner. I think it's retaliation because the people that are involved with it we're involved in the retaliation. 
So I think that's what it is, and it's a lousy thing to do to this area. Um, when you have a business district, it, uh, it's, it's, it's showing that we are partners with the city of Racine. And this shows that we really don't care. But that's not true because we have a strong association. Association will take over. We won't be able to do as much as we did in the past, um, but we certainly aren't going to give up. And we'll continue, we'll continue to try to beautify Western Scene only in smaller amounts. Um, but I, I say to those people that there are certain people in that thing, it, uh, Alderman Helding was correct, you know, there's some people that are offside the bid. There's a couple guys that were against it from the beginning, and I have nothing against those guys. I say, you know, hey, you were against it from the beginning. What bothers me is that we have retailers, retailers, that voted against this. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Good conversations, Alderman McCarthy. Thank you, Your Honor. Those that were against this bid spoke out pretty strongly regarding they could use their money more wisely and will use it to improve the area. There's a fairly substantial amount of reserves associated with the bid right now that were intended for large projects as they came along, hopefully to help out a grocery store or anything else that might come along. That money is about to be refunded to these businesses, and I really hope, especially those people that claim that they would be using their monies uh, to improve the area, will use those refunds to improve the property and the area. They're going to have some money they didn't necessarily expect to have at this point, and I think it would be not only in the best interest of the district, but also in keeping of their word to go ahead and spend that money on improving the area. Thank you. Alderman Wisniewski. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I also uh, served one year as a member of the West Racine Business Improvement District. And um, I can say that it was that even after, after I left and the bid really got going uh, and did what it did, which was uh, beautification of West Racine, uh, putting up beautiful uh, flower pots, um, uh, decorations around Christmas time, um, making sure that the streets got cleaned up, making sure that weeds that were growing between the, the sidewalk cracks were, were being uh, pulled up or, or uh, cut out, uh, trimmed back making sure that the sign got put up for the uh, West Racine Farmer's Market, um, as well as an, a number of other smaller things, some ideas about uh, maybe possibly washing windows for the businesses in West Racine, as well as advertising for the businesses in West Racine, a, uh, putting up a, uh, a, a website for the West Racine Business Improvement District, uh, wayfinding signs out there as well. The bid did a lot for West Racine. Uh, and last year, uh, last summer especially, I believe you could see the difference in just how clean and how beautiful West Racine really was looking. I believe that there are a small cadre of people um, who were once a part of this bid who are upset. I concur uh, with Alderman Spangberg that I think there were some folks who were involved in the prospective development on the corner there, and when things didn't go the way that they wanted to, they blamed this mayor. They blamed Alderman Jim Spangenberg. And they want to get even. And one way of getting even is to undo uh, this civic institution, the bid. Um, and it, it wasn't all that hard, because you figure with that 15% out of it, there were only 41% of people that, that signed this. And I happen to know that some of those agreed to the bid in the first place. But times are tough right now, so it didn't take much to sort of convince them well, now you can keep that $250 in your pocket at the end of the year. However, I think uh, this really was a civic effort. This was something for the entire district, and I think it was very beneficial for the district. I'm afraid that, uh, that those that um, did this thing are cutting off their nose to spite their face. This is the very definition of it. And I think West Racine is going to be worse off for the fact that we are forced tonight to dissolve this bid. Alderman Helding. Thank you, Your Honor. I, the West Racine Alderman have made some impassioned speeches about this, and um, I, I concur generally with most of their, well, all of their thoughts on it. Um, there have been many times on the council where I've had to take a vote that I don't want to, but you have to. Um, we talked about this the other night with 
you know, giving a, a bid for sidewalk building to somebody from Minnesota. It's not particularly fun, but um, sometimes the, the law and the rules work out, and that's just the way it is. This, unfortunately, is one of those instances, um, lest we all be swayed by the impassioned pleas, the statutes um, force us to take this vote. So I just kind of wanted to remind everybody um, this is what it is. The, 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 a significant amount or, or the correct number of the property owners have spoken, uh, and this is what is before us, whether we like it or not. Roll call. Further discussion? Roll call. Madam Chair, Aye. Fields? Aye. Bangenberg? Epstein. Widener? Aye. Wisniewski? Aye. Cove? Aye. Jahan? Aye. Hart? Aye. Helding? Aye. Kaplan? Aye. Mack? Abstain. Marcus? Aye. McCarthy? Aye. Mosel? Aye. Motion passes. Redevelopment Authority of Dean Alderman Spangenberg. Thank you, Your Honor. I had such a passion there, I have to flip to the right page. 